Hey everybody, John D. Villarreal here, and today I'm talking about the ASICS GT 2011, and I'm gonna compare these awesome shoes from ASICS against my ASICS Gel Venture 9 that I just have. Now, I really like the ASICS Gel Venture series, so I'm anxious to see how this comparison comes out. Now, importantly, this video is not sponsored by ASICS or anybody else. These are my own true, honest opinions. We've been given access to these shoes for the purpose of doing this video, which is what we're doing right now. Okay, here you see right here, you've got a couple different features here. This light truss. You can see right here a lot of detail in here and just tremendous amount. I can already feel like this is very light. Way, oh my goodness. This is like way lighter than my A6 Gel Venture 9. No doubt about it. The GT2000. You can see all that gel spacing in there, which is great. This is the FF Blast right here, right? And this is like... Everything feels very quick with this and it's definitely very light. So here, like, I'm gonna show you against my A6 Gel Venture 9. We'll try this out right now. These are, my Gel Venture 9, like, they're not too heavy. This is a trail running shoe, but, oh yeah, definitely more substantial. Now this is kind of a weird test, right? But like, watch this as this drops versus this. Way different. You can immediately, immediately hear this. Now look at this, like let's compare these straight up right here. You can see this, this right here is longer. Both of them are 10 and a half, but you can see how much longer this is, right? Versus this, and then you can check out the difference in grip. So this is much more rugged and beefy right here. This is lighter. This is definitely stickier to me. You can see, oh yeah, for sure, massive difference. This is a true running shoe. This is again, the trail running shoe. And you can see the laces look pretty similar. That's, there's a lot of similarity there. Okay, now in terms of cushion here, you, I think you've got more cushion here on the top. I don't, well, you know what? Different, right? You see that material right there, that mesh? I think that's pretty substantial. I think this, this is beefy all the way around. But then if you look at this, this is very, very substantial here. Very cushy, very, very you know, squishy in there. And then this tongue actually has a lot of, of, of strong material there as well. Let's try this on. This is a totally different look. For, and that's very interesting because when you see these, these are both ASIC shoes. But again, like if you look at this, 10 and a half, 10 and a half. Look at, that, look at the difference of that look on a 10 and a half. I'll just put them like down like that, right? Against my foot. So just very interesting in terms of the design. This looks more narrow and longer, and I'm anxious to try this out right now. Why, okay, I get it. So here's my toe, and here's this, this is, a lot, immediately kind of form fitting, a lot of cushion in there, just tremendous amounts of cushion in there. I can feel it. So, let's, wow, wow. Look at this. Let's see if this shows up sitting much higher. I am standing much higher, rather, but the foot sits a lot higher on this. This is much lower to the ground. Again, you're getting grip, and I can get a lift up. Like, like these shoes right here, I would never lift in these shoes in terms of like anything leg related or whatnot where I could get away with some of that here. Maybe like some light squats or just some lunges or different things. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying this is my first choice to do it in, but, but this one I wouldn't do it in. On the other hand, on this, this GT, this is, this is crazy support in terms of cushion here. You can, I mean, I, I'm barely feeling the ground. But just, just tremendous traction. Yeah, <laughs> this is like a big difference. So for instance, like on my Gel Venture 9, what I'm feeling right now, it's just almost like a decathlete that can do a lot of different things. Whereas with this GT2000, this for sure feels like a true running shoe. Something I can hit miles on, I can go to speed on. I wouldn't call it a sprinter, it's not a sprinter, but this is for sure built for running. Let me switch into both shoes right here and then try this out. It's really, huh, that's very interesting. <laughs> Tremendous cushion on these. This, this, is a, this is a high quality shoe. There's no question about it. All right, I'm gonna give it a light jog right here. I am not fast by any stretch. I just wanna just kind of feel what it feels like pushing off. Here we go. 
wow, that's, wow, these are nice. <laughs> these are really nice. Like, okay, straight up, like, I hate running, but this is nice. I could definitely go running in these. You feel a tremendous, tremendous amount of cushion in here, lots of foam. This is serious. There's no doubt about it. This is awesome. Very light, very fun. If you're putting in some serious miles, this could be a huge benefit. Really interesting, really different experience here between my Asics Gel Venture 9s and these Asics GT 2011s, right? This is a running shoe, it's a training shoe, it's a stability shoe, helps with overpronation. Again, I'm not giving any medical advice, fitness advice, any other kind of advice. Everything you do is at your own risk. But just in terms of, this gives me a very neutral feel. It, they're definitely lighter, way more cushioned than I, I sit higher. If I was doing a lot of like running, everyday training, treadmill work, then this is definitely a shoe I would strongly consider. It's really, really good. Or if I want that second shoes to again, just do the running or just do the training over there. But on an everyday basis, if, if you just want one shoe, if you do trail running, if you do cross training, if you do gym work, if you do some running, I still love my A6 Gel Venture 9s. I just think that they're really, really good. If I had to choose one shoe right now between those two, I'm gonna go with the A6 Gel Venture 9s. I would give these A6 GT 2011s, I would give them a 9.3. I'm giving my A6 Gel Venture 9s, I'm giving them a 9.5. Now, I can totally understand if you disagree with me out there, I get it. It depends, they're both amazing shoes, and this is definitely a new premium running shoe. It just depends on how you're going to use it. But for me, and what I do, if, again, if you're gonna choose one yeah. shoe. I like the A6 Gel Venture 9. I do like them. Just because it gives me more versatility and I can use it in a much wider area of applications, but they're both awesome shoes. Yeah. Anyway, that's my opinion. I'm John D. Villarreal. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.